Good morning, everyone. It's Steph from Little Paws Homestead. Today is rabbit day. Our friend has a deal with the local rabbit show that happens once a year to be available to buy any culls that the breeders coming to the show are looking to get rid of. So we buy them live and then we dispatch them and break them down and throw, put them in the freezer for dog food. So we help her out with this every year and we are on our way to get to the show because we have to be there and be gone before the show actually starts. It's about quarter after eight in the morning and uh, we've already had our morning coffees and Steph has gone to uh, a rabbit show. Um, so we are going to be processing a whole bunch of rabbits today. So let's go get started on chores. Do you want to go outside? Let's go outside. Shoes on. Patch. Oh boy. It's cold out here. Hello puppies! They're all ready to play this morning. Good morning everyone. Seems like everyone's happy. Maybe we could use some food. Breakfast. We're all still good in the grow out cage. Still have water. Yeah, everyone's alive and that's what's important. girls. Would you like to come out? Is that a yes? It's hard with one hand. There you go. Be free! You don't see any eggs. None from this side either, so I guess they slacked a little bit last night. Yeah, we have food in the bucket still. Everyone's all awake. Check for the eggs. Any eggs? No? Okay. They didn't give us very many last night, so I'm hoping that they laid some overnight. You're very loud. Hello. Hello. No eggs. Any eggs in here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Back there, nope. Water's still good. Plenty good. Eggs? No. Eggs, 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 eggs? No. Eggs? No. Come on, birds, you're slacking. You're slacking. There's no eggs in here. Why are there no eggs in here? No eggs in the corners. There's the pot. Moss board. No eggs. Well, they're just, uh, they're slacking a little hard. So, hopefully we'll get a good number today. Uh, a good number is about, I don't know, we're pretty happy with anything between a dozen and a half and two dozen. Let's see if we drop it. Drop it. Thank you. She's always so focused. Go. You want it? Do you want it, boy? Hey, don't do that. Sit. Go get it. Okay, so we're back inside now. Um, we're gonna end up processing the rabbits inside. So I'm going to take a second and clean up the kitchen. That way we all have counter space to work. Making coffee is totally part of morning chores. Oh no, the babies are out of food and out of water. You need help? Sorry, babies. You have water and you're happy. 
they need, do need to be cleaned as well, but that'll have to wait until after uh, the rabbit day. This can go together, you know, <laughs> something happens so well. <laughs> Honestly, like, considering last year I was in a car full of rabbits, and there was not a ton, but there was enough that we're sharing, but not a thing. We got blue eyes, brown eyes, oh, these ones chocolate eyes, they are. This is our setup for buying rabbits. We just have a digital scale on a flat surface. We tear out boxes, weigh the rabbits, and then the rabbits are hanging out in the car until we bring them home. Very important is to make sure you put a tarp in the bottom of your car because they've already started peeing, which we wiped up so you can't actually see. And it looks like our yeast are is ready to make pizza dough. are home with rabbits so we have to get them unloaded so that we can dispatch I think we ended up with 40 this year plus some frozen from one of the breeders who just brought us ones that she had dispatched herself so those are all the rabbits that are in those uh, boxes there and um, so essentially we just take the uh, uh, a wooden pole uh, and we step on place the pole uh, behind their neck uh, on the ground and then pull up on their legs which dislocates their spine uh, it's quick and it's painless uh, we found that's the best way to do it um, and yeah I guess we'll see you after all that's done hey zipper the puppies are eating kneecaps with Harry Potter on so that they stay nice and busy while we're processing rabbits. Hi, Patch. So much for that nice bed I just made you. Please do not use this video as a instructional video on how to process rabbits. I know you can't really see us doing it, but we're doing it for dog food. Um, if you had to do it for human consumption, you would want to get them cooler way faster than we were. So if you are processing rabbits for human consumption, please look up a tutorial on how to do that. This is the flirt pole. It's Zipper's favorite activity in the entire world. Get it! Oh, that was fast. Ow. Yes, get it! So Patch is still learning the flirt pole. He thinks it's Tug and then tries to go after the pole. Caught a patch. After we were done processing rabbits, we took a look at the weather network and realized that there was a big rainstorm coming for us. So we very impromptly boarded up the quail coop so that way it didn't turn into a mess. So on this side I'm going to use a tarp that we have. We're running low on plywood but we can get the drafts covered up and keep the rain out just by zip tying some tarps to this corner. So this is this corner here. We just did some really 
fast trying to keep the rain out of there. Uh, it's also getting cold at night and they're starting to lay less, so this will help keep it warmer. We will start to change the timer on our lights so they'll be on more often because now it's darker in there. The main goal with quail is, and most birds that are outside, is to keep them dry and keep drafts on them. They'll do okay in the winter, especially because we're gonna have lots of pine shavings in there for them. But we just want to keep the drafts out and make sure that we have plenty of ventilation. So if we go over to this side where we used plywood, it doesn't go all the way up to the roof on purpose so that we can allow the hot air from them breathing to escape so then it doesn't condense and make them cold. So this will be good. This won't change too, too much um, for our final winter prep. We will add some boards, like we need a board in this corner here, the hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer needs to come in. Uh, I need to get a bin for here so that we have something to put the lime in because the lime we will still use all winter and we want to keep snow, make sure snow stays out of it. And then we need to add some boards to the other side too. So I see something exciting. It is, if I can get this little quail to move, excuse me, it is our first day we've ever gotten three silky eggs. We started getting two about last week, so now it looks like we have three of our four silkies starting to lay. So for the end of rabbit day, we're going to dehydrate what hasn't gone into the freezer, and that's the rabbit ears. You can feed these, but around here they're like gold, and the dogs love them dehydrated, so they're going to go in as treats. Also the lung and the hearts, and there's one liver still in there, that's also going to be dehydrated. Also things that you could just throw into the food bowl into their meals, but they love it dehydrated. So that's just fat that's not going to dehydrate, so that'll just go in the garbage. These will go in the dehydrator for about 12 hours. Anything for the dogs, I just put in for 12 hours and then check after that. The standoff has ended. She has given in to the temptation of food.
Homemade pizza is the best pizza. Nom. So we were gonna film putting the ducks away and you know the nighttime chores that we do, but it's uh, it's raining. We're supposed to get like 40 millimeters of rain or something silly like that. So uh, we're probably gonna cut it here. Uh, thanks for following us throughout our rabbit processing day, and uh, we'll uh, see you on the next one. Bye. So all of our hard work earlier paid off, and it's actually uh, it's actually drying here. It's been raining for probably about I don't know five hours now, and uh, dryness is happiness. I know I said I wasn't gonna take you along for the uh, bird chores, but it's it's drying the quail coop, so everyone's happy. <laughs>